So that's so that's five. That's five. Yeah. And that's basically that's uh, number one with. So let me hear number one and then number five again. I'm a front of house guy, a mix engineer, both live and in the studio. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my trip and the blast that I'm having. Very cool. Wow. Like with any club you're up against, you want the players to be comfortable, but as a front of house engineer, you want to deliver great sound to the audience. So where's the drummer? One thing you battle with is tech versus the band. And I've done a few tours where would say, okay, the band stand on one side, tech guys stand on the other, and they would split. And they would just look at me like, what are you asking? And then I would make the tech guys go stand with the band. This is the band. It's one team. Love Marshalls. I'm sure that's going to sound good, but uh, do you have a solution for keeping it quiet? I know they sound better cranked. I talked to the guitar player a little bit, and it turns out he had this really killer Marshall Super Bass, and I was a little concerned. That thing is super loud. It turns out he had this Captor X. We set it up, plugged it all in, and I asked him, you know, are there different settings? And he said, yeah, let's take it down 20 dB. Sounds good, but it's way too loud. Yeah. Switch it, just switch it down. Yeah, you have a half weight. What? That's good. Oh, wait, I went all the way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we were on halfway already. Is that halfway? Yeah. Here's all the way. Yeah, way too quiet for a, for a stage this size. Is it full? Full? Yeah. The tone sounds great. Like, yeah. uh, like I didn't, I didn't know I had it set on halfway. <laughs> so we went back to the minus 20, and it was still felt pretty loud. And then I went to front of house, and I started dialing it up. Pulled up the Captor X, dialed it in. Pulled up the actual cab, dialed it in, and it sounded great. I believe he had it set on the Uber 75 setting, uh, which is a cab model in the Captor X. Uh, guitar. That, that already sounds great before I even EQ'd anything. So, so keep playing and I'm going to just do a little bit of high pass, low pass. And I was comparing that to the actual Marshall cab and it was really comparable and in fact I, I preferred it just, just because it had a sense of being in the studio and having some air around it rather than just a 57 straight on a cab in a club. It had a, a cooler vibe to it. That sounds literally ridiculous. I I no EQ or compression. I got super excited about a few scenarios where this would just work fabulous. In a lot of uh, houses of worship or clubs, yeah. even stadiums now are, they have the silent stage where there is no amplification on stage and they will have these isolation boxes or isolation rooms with an amplifier in it. I don't know about other front of house guys, I'm pretty sure you'll agree with me, is those ISO rooms work, but they sound like ISO rooms. You hear this constricted, not, not super constricted, but it just feels like it's in a small, dead space rather than again in a studio. So I just see a great application for this being if you bring this product and have it ready to go, select an amp that you dig, whether it's a deluxe or an AC30 or whatever, and use the Captor X. You come out of your amp into this and that gives you a load so that you don't blow up your amp. And then you just tell the guitar player, either bring your pedal board and you can plug into our head with the Captor or 
bring your favorite head. We have the captor, it's a very simple thing. Just bring your head dialed how you want it, jack in, and you're ready to go with your in-ears. Yeah, no, I just, I just killed the house with both of you playing, and it was like, because it sounds massive out here, and I thought, how much is, yeah. And you, and, you, and you still have a little bit on stage, so you feel good about it. The twin tracker? Yep. So that, that, that basically randomizes the, it's a, it's a delay, but it randomizes, so it sounds more like an actual guy doing it if you had two guys on stage. Yep. Nice. Right. Let's hear it. Almost always with any band I've, I've ever run sound with, I'll move the guitar slightly off center one way or the other depending on the room. The thing he showed me was something in the Captor X called Twin Tracker. And uh, so I was like, okay, yeah, let's hear it. And he switched it to it and I was, I was quite blown away. I was, I was uh, completely stoked actually. And honestly, as a front of house guy, I feel like I wanna make this part of something I just bring with me to every gig and get the guitar player to give it a chance. Look, if he doesn't want to use it, I get it. But I honestly think once they hear what it does, not only will they want to use it for that night, I have no doubt that they'll want to pick up one for themselves. The reason is, is because you talk to any great band uh, that's way up the food chain playing stadiums, they know how important their team is. They'll tell you they can't even do their job without their guys. I mean, they've had the same guys for years for that reason. Well, with the Captor X, it was doing multiple things that was amazing. One, it, it got the, the stage volume down, but yet the guitar player was still having a blast because his amps sounded great. That's one thing too, is the uh, attenuation with the Captor X was brilliant. Like, even when it was on minus 20, we didn't even realize it at first, I thought it was, was the super bass full out. I mean, the tone was all there, it was beautiful. So he had fun on stage. And then out front with the twin tracker, I knew right away that this was gonna be perfect for the gig because I would be able to hear the vocal and get the guitar out of center, which is great. And so for me at front of house, I was stoked. So that's the thing that brings the band and the front of house guy together rather than driving them apart. It just solves a lot of problems that we all have and, and just gets us into a place of being inspired and making music again. I love it. Transmissions clearly State I've lost my way